Statewide, the coronavirus has infected more than 5,500 people. At least 124 have died. The state has been expecting this jump because they've been waiting on a huge backlog from private labs. Now with those results, Maryland has recorded its largest single day increase in cases. The new total is 5,529, up a staggering 1,158 in just the past day and a half. 124 people so far have died from the coronavirus in Maryland, as we said earlier. And also, city police have another case bringing the total number of officers at that department who've tested positive to nine. State school systems are being told to prepare for the possibility of online learning when the next school year begins. During an online conference, the state superintendent says she's ramping up online and distance learning capabilities in case schools must remain closed in the fall. As of right now, schools are closed through at least April the 24th. Whole Foods confirms a worker at its Harbor East location has tested positive for COVID-19. The company says the employee is now in quarantine but didn't release any other details. In response, the store says it's performed an additional deep cleaning. They'll continue to follow the company's safety and sanitation measures. And after a five-day search, the body of eight-year-old Gideon McKean has been found. McKean is the grandson of Maryland's former Lieutenant Governor Kathleen Kennedy Townsend and David Lee Townsend. Gideon and his mother Maeve disappeared last week after going out in the Chesapeake Bay in a canoe to retrieve a ball. All right, let's get a check on the weather with Marty Bass. Those winds, they're coming strong. Oh, they are definitely going to be coming strong. Uh, showers and thunderstorms now passed on off to the east. Once they clear the state, this will become clearing skies as a second line. Windy is going to be the headline. 70 early on temps dropping through the afternoon. Max, take it away. Check in with WJZ for the updated forecast and all today's developing stories. I'm Max McGee.